today I wanted to talk about something controversial probably to most people and that is Databricks versus Snowflake and I'm just gonna break it down real simple to what the truth of the matter is people talk about you know which one should I use which is better you know they fight a lot both of them put out marketing material going against the other one the truth of the matter is yes they do similar things but in reality of data engineering they're really for different teams and they specialize in different things if you are a data team and all you do is SQL then Snowflake is a tool for you it's a SQL tool if you've been on Redshift if you've been on BigQuery if you're on SQL Server Oracle and they want to spend more money then they'll use Snowflake those are for data teams that probably not doing machine learning probably not the best programmers in the world that's just the reality just because they're SQL minded um, especially if you're coming from SQL Server, Oracle, Postgres, Redshift, BigQuery, those are all SQL tools. And that's the honest truth. Teams that are bent towards SQL, and that's pretty much what they do, and they're just data warehousing teams, it's just SQL all day long, of course you would pick Snowflake, I would pick it too. Databricks, what is Databricks? Well, that's more for programmers are probably going to be drawn to that, right? Because um, it's Spark-based. Um, so just because of that, there's a lot more programming involved. Typically, obviously, there's Spark SQL, but people who write Scala, who write Python a lot, who are doing machine learning pipelines, yes, you can do a little bit of crappy machine learning in Snowflake, but the real stuff is done in Databricks. That's what they specialize in. That's what they're good at. They're going to go for the Databricks. So it kind of depends on what kind of team you're on. If you're more like SQL, if you're like 80% SQL and 20% programming, you're probably going to do snowflake because you're just like a data warehousing team or a data lake team and so all you do is write sql all day long that's fine then use snowflake if you're a team is doing more specialized things where you need to write code and by code i mean like scala python whatever and you're writing more code to do very specific things and more complicated things especially around machine learning then you're probably going to go to databricks route because that's what they're good at Personally, I like Databricks more. I think it's a better tool. I don't know why people pay so much for Snowflake. I mean, I've used it too. I mean, I get it, the scale and stuff, but most people don't need the scale. That's honestly, they just want to spend money and their bosses think Snowflake's awesome, so they'll use Snowflake. When in reality, they could probably be using Postgres and get away with it, or Redshift, or BigQuery. Um, I understand, though, that people want Snowflake. That's fine, but... I think that's the big differentiator for people who are just getting into it. What should I learn? Should I run with Snowflake? Should I use Databricks? Which one should I use? They fight a lot. I don't know which one. You know, it's really not that hard. If all you're doing is writing SQL all day long on a data warehouse producing analytics, and yes, just pick Snowflake. Why would you? I mean, you could use Databricks, but you're just adding more pain to your life because Snowflake is better at pure SQL type teams and things and processes. If you're like, oh, you know, a lot of our code base is actually just Python and or Spark and we do machine learning pipelines, then you would pick Databricks. Um, yeah, and that's really not more complicated than that. I don't know why people, I don't know why they fight between themselves. I don't know why people pit them against each other because in my mind they're different tools. I think you can have both tools. You could probably use both Databricks and Snowflake and that would be reasonable. I get people have to pick one, but I don't think it's really that complicated if your SQL, Snowflakes, Snowflake, if you're just going to be doing programming and machine learning more with a little bit of SQL mixed in, definitely Databricks. I personally like Databricks more because you have Spark SQL, so you can, those teams that are doing pure SQL, they can like kind of upgrade themselves a little bit and they can pretty much write most of the Spark SQL and do most of their pipelines in Spark SQL and it's pretty close. It wouldn't be that much work. And they would probably get to be better engineers because they would probably learn a little bit more. They'd learn a little bit more DevOps. They'd probably learn a little bit more programming, code, things like that. Their life would probably improve on Databricks, is my opinion. If you're just going to stick with Snowflake, I don't know. I just look at it as there's some people in data engineering who've been using SQL for 20 years or 10 or 5. And I used to be one of those people. But at some point, you got to expand your horizon. you got to do more complicated things. Look, I know Snowflake is trying to do Snowpark. You know, they're trying to get in the machine learning thing. Let's be honest, it's just a joke, pretty much. You can do 
little thingies here, but you know, if you're serious about it, you're going to be using other tools like Databricks. So if I would tell you to pick, I would say go with Databricks. It'll make you a better engineer in the long run. Otherwise, it's just going to be a little one pony show with SQL the rest of your life and Snowflake. So you don't want to be that person. Thank <laughs> you.